Hello everybody, welcome to Percussion Axiom TV. I'm your host Tom Burrett, and this is Percussion Axiom TV episode number 17. And this is a very special day because we have a very special guest with us. This is Tony Edwards. Tony is uh, Mr. <laughs> Everything Around Here. He teaches about 12 of our students, and let's see, he is our website designer. So we're going to link that up in the show notes so you can see uh, the, the website that he's designed uh, for the percussion program here, which is phenomenal. And he also is the principal timpanist with the Austin Symphony. And principal percussionist with the Austin or with the Lyric Opera. Okay. Lyric Opera. I can't keep track of it at all, actually. <laughs> and also uh, is a staff assistant here at UT, and so he cares for our instruments and does a fantastic job with that. So Tony is giving a clinic at PASIC. You know that's right around the corner. The next episode, number 18, will be a PASIC preview. So uh, I will mention his clinic again in that. It's Saturday at the convention here in Austin at mm -hmm. 2 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be fun to have Tony just come in and talk a little bit about his clinic and play it a little bit for us. So, Tony, take it away. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you're going to talk about on Saturday. Well, my clinic's going to be uh, Timpani Fundamentals, uh, with an emphasis on F-U-N and fundamentals. And I'm trying to create a, a clinic around every the demographic from like high school band director to high school student to professional player, and talk about everything from kind of timpani mechanics to how to, to better play on timpani, how to make a good sound on timpani, uh, muffling, all the various techniques that you have to do on Tiffany. And um, the, the main premise of the, the clinic is going to be pretty much how a Tiffany head makes a sound. Because if you understand how it makes a sound, then you can understand how to get a good sound, how to keep from getting a bad sound. And, um, and then you can take that into like articulation and musicality and rolls, and then we can get into muffling. Uh, so that's pretty much the clinic. That's awesome. I mean, you know, I, I see a lot of clinics at, at these sort of things, and um Someone, you know, either, well, they usually just play all the time. And I already know someone can play great, otherwise they wouldn't be there. So I think one, one thing that's going to make this clinic awesome is that Tony's really going to talk a lot about what he does and how he does it. And it may not be as exciting, maybe, as someone who just plays the whole time, but you're going to learn a lot more. But he also is going to play, too. So, um, and we'll give you a little bit of that here in a minute. So you want to talk about some examples you might use uh, about what, you know, to further kind of talk about what your topic is? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the fundamental of playing, you know, timpani is understanding how, basically how a head produces a sound. And a timpani head, you know, is, is a membrane that moves or it oscillates. And in a fundamental oscillation, it wants to move like this. But if you overplay it, you, you'll drive the head so far down that the outside edges can't quite catch up. And that's when you get kind of a bad sound. So a really good way to demonstrate this is I'm just going to take a drum. I'll take this drum right here, this 26-inch drum. And I'm going to hit it two different ways. And it'll be pretty obvious and exaggerated what I'm doing here. But I want to see if you can hear a difference between the way these two sounds sound. So here's A. And here would be B. Now is that pretty dramatic. I mean, it's from one extreme to the other. But A, you just hear this fundamental sound of the drum. And B, you hear this really harsh beginning of the sound, and then it decays, it kind of finally resolves into like what A sounded like. The other thing that you hear is like a pitch bend, there's a slight pitch bend in the sound. Now A, what I did is I just made a fundamental, kind of nice slow stroke, whereas B, I just really drove a mallet down into the head. And so it kind of overplays the head. And that's the difference between a good sound and say a bad sound. Now, what produces it is the head's getting overplayed. And the way that there's two fundamental ways that you can keep from getting a bad sound. One is the higher up in the range of the timpani that you play, the better the sound's going to be. Now I'm going to take this pitch. Right, so now I have three drums tuned to the same pitch. And I'm going to go around, I'm going to hit all three of them nice and slow. And what I want you to just listen very closely to the sound. There's two, two criteria I'm wanting to, to listen for is the beginning of the sound and the ending of the sound. Which one sounds more like, yeah, and which one sounds more like, ba. It just instantly has a fundamental pitch. It doesn't, doesn't go up, doesn't go down. And there's not a dramatic change between the beginning of the attack and the end of the sound. So here we go. Just listen really closely to these. Sound and it just rang into that pitch. 
So the tighter I'm going up on the tension of the head, the more likely it is that I'm, I'm going to get a good sound. So one way of ensuring a good sound is to kind of tune higher up in the range. The other way is the way that you strike the drum. Now, if I strike downstroke, like leave the mallet, drop all the force into the head, that overplays the head. Now, if I lift off of the drum, I have more of a chance of not driving all that energy into the head and just getting the head started and then just letting it resonate. So the difference between and is pretty dramatic. And that's what you're wanting to get a good sound on timpani. So the, the, the pretty much the, the crux of the, the whole clinic is based around that one fundamental principle of how to get a good sound on timpani. Awesome. Well, that's some pretty serious content there, I think. So thanks, Tony, so much for for doing that. And uh, if you want more, then you just need to come to the, to the clinic at 2 o'clock on Saturday at the convention. Um, check the, you know, the registration pack out or handout or yeah. whatever that is, the magazine for the, the, the room number. And uh, check it out. So Tony's going to leave us here in a minute. But before he does, he's going to uh, play a little bit. And, and just a few things to tie up. Um, a couple announcements that I keep harping on you guys about is leave comments after the show. It doesn't matter whether it's YouTube or at thomasburg.com. Um, just leave some comments, and, and I'd love to know your thoughts about this. And um, I've got a lot more of you now following on Twitter. That's awesome. And um, you know, if, if you're not sure what that means or what that is, check out episode 17, or actually 16, the last one. Um, and uh, big concert Wednesday, November 5th at UT, drumming complete, the Wednesday night of the convention. If you're in town, let me know. And if you want to come, let me know, and we'll try to get you from the convention center to the recital hall here at UT because uh, we'd love to have you at, the, at that concert. Uh, we're really, really excited about it, and the uh, students have worked so hard. So, as we finish up, um, before you play, actually, Tony, there's a tradition for guests here. No. You have to ask the question of the episode. So, it's got to be spontaneous, which is kind of fun. But, <laughs> so, you know, it can be related to anything. It can relate to what you just talked about. It can mm -hmm. be related to anything, even non-musical. So just, and then that encourages them to leave answers oh, to that oh. question. So and, I'm, and I'm asking to the audience. You're asking the audience, absolutely. Well, so go ahead, what's the question of the episode before you play for us? The question of the episode would be, what is the number one problem with timpani playing that you have? And it could be mechanical, it could be playing, um, and I want to see if I can answer that at my clinic at BASIC. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so if you've got a question you've been dying to ask about timpani playing, leave a comment, leave the question, and he will answer it at BASIC. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> cool. All right, so Tony's going to play just a little bit of his, what's your timpani solo called? Um, the timpani solo I'm going to open the clinic with is kind of a medley of timpani excerpts and uh, very familiar ones and not so familiar ones. And I've entitled the, uh, the little timpani solo that I've put together, uh, Dueling Timpani, also Just What the World Needs, another timpani solo. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you so much, Tony. This, is, this has been really, really great. And I tell you what, guys, this guy is serious, serious, serious business, and has done unbelievable things teaching our students here. And, um, you know, I, I love when I'm on top of something before everybody knows about it. Like, I feel like with this whole show thing, I totally feel about this guy, is that he is the next star, pedagogical performance star in the world. It's just phenomenal. So, Tony, take it away. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>